guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So one of the biggest things I get requested from me is drawing faces, folk art faces. Um, so um, I'm very blessed and thankful that my numbers uh, are growing like they are because it just makes me just so happy um, that I'm doing this. And I just love that you guys are leaving me so many comments and emails and all that kind of stuff. So my goal is to get past, get through the last three videos, all their comments. So, um, keep an eye out for that. And I'm trying to email everybody back. I did quite a few uh, emails today and, um, here we go. <laughs> so I'm going to show you my, you know, my way to draw a face. And the thing is, is just follow a few of these things, get your face drawn. So you're used to drawing the eyes and all. One of the things I love to do are odd girls. A million videos on here about how I, you know, when I draw eye girls, if you want to, I know a lot of you guys are new and new to mixed media and drawing and are nervous. So if you want me to show you an eye girl, I'll gladly do that. Let me know down below, or you can message me on Facebook or email me. And, um, but let me just get started on this real quick. So what I have here is an eight and three quarter, uh, length piece of paper. You can do eight inches. You can do uh, it's whatever, but this is what this is. And what I did was I kind of, I folded it in half. So I could take my ruler and I'm going to try to do this as, you know, as simple as I can for you guys. And you just want to kind of do a light line down the middle, um, you know, more or less. Okay. Then what I did was I took my ruler and I put it at the top of the page and about what, what size, about four and a half, five, wherever, just do, just do your mark. And that's going to be our eye line. So we're going to make our eye line. And you know, I'm not a very, um, straight person. So my things can sometimes be off a bit and it's not a big deal. Now we're going to take it down. Cause that's going to be our eye line. Now we're going to take it down. I do about, I'd probably do depending on what kind of face you want. You want it. Everybody's face is different. If you look at them, some people noses are closer up down, you know, um, whatever, but I'll do, this is one inch. This is one and a half. So I'll probably do one and a half on mine, you do whatever, but just put your little line there. All right. And try to keep it as, you know, as straight as you can. It's not, the, it's not going to be the law. Nobody's going to come in and say, dang you and hit you with the ruler. And then go from that down to about an inch. Okay. So that's, you know, this is how far I did here, which was four and a half. This is one and a half. Double check that again. Yep. One and a half. And then I go down one inch. Okay. So can you see kind of where we're at? as far as the face, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Then what I like to do is that there's so many different ways to do eyes. Um, but what I suggest you do, this is watercolor paper, use printer paper, um, is start laying in where you want the eyes. Now you can see here, let me see if I can erase this real quick, the line I did here. Okay just those extra lines. So here I'm going to go and put in my eyes. Now, generally what they say is, um, you want the same width, the same size here as you do here. And as you do here, do I do that all the time? No, but we're going to do that this time. And so we have our bottom of our almond shape eye. Do you want to do a circle? Do a circle. You want to do, sometimes I do these where I, I have the line here and I just do like this and I do, do you know, I'm, I think my goddess that's in my, um, on my YouTube picture is just the flat eye. So you can, you know, do whatever, but this is how I do it. This is how I do it. Everybody. Okay. And then take right here and you're going to connect it. You want to, my little tip for you is when you're doing this, start, you know, on this corner and go to this corner because you want that to have that kind of, you know, almost an almond shape, right? And then go over here and do the same thing and make sure these touch are touching the line, right? And do the same thing and just try your best to get them as equal as you can. It doesn't matter. So that starts our eye. So look where we're at right now. So if you do this, I say, pause, pause this right now and draw your lines and then do your eyes like that. And you got your eyes, right? So they're started. Now this is going to be all little nose. Now noses can be anything. I tell you guys to, um, let me find a piece of paper. What's this paper for? Get up there and dry. All right. This, um, I tell you guys, you can do noses like this, which is 
Just a very cute little folk, folk, eh, 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 folk art girl. Um, very simple. You just do a nose, you call it a day. Uh, you can add to this by, I, I do like a, I'll go like this. And then add like the sides of the nose. You see? So all that is, is I, I call it like an M. So you just do like this, like this, and this. And if it's too big the first time, who cares? And then you can go around that. Some people like to put the ball of the nose on there. It depends on what your mood is. Um, but then you can definitely do uh, like that. Or you can do, some people will do it all at once. See that nose? It's a little, it's a, that's more of a cartoony nose, right? But you can, you know, and then you make your, the bridge of the nose, see how it goes with these. You'll start at the top of this little right there and do the bridge of the nose, see how it makes it come to life and the bridge of the nose. So and there's a million other noses to do, but that right there is just what we're gonna do today. So on this line, and you can see this is, I'm looking at this, do I say, oh, that's kind of far away. I might want it up closer. Then if you do erase it and then Move it up a little bit. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is your time to do your thing. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to do my little nose like this, like a little, well, now you can't see Cal because you made the line too dark. I tell you, if I had brains, if I had a brain. So you're going to do your little nose and then bring it down like that and then bring it down like that. So you have your M. I'm doing a little bit bigger just because we're doing, I'm doing it on camera so you guys can see. So we have a nose and again, you can go in and change all that, make it smaller, make it bigger, whatever you want. So we have a nose. And now since we moved our lips, our, our uh, nose up, we're going to move our lips up. And again, you can judge. It doesn't, you don't have to measure. Those are just the dynamic of you starting. So here we go. Now I want to do another, um, like this, right? It's like a little dippy dip. And then I'm going to bring it up. So you do this and do that. And you have the top of the lip. And then I just bring it down. Now let me show you something. This is another way that you can do this. Let me move in a little closer. When you're doing the lips, if you do, you have our middle line going like this. So you take a circle, go like that. Take another circle, go like that. You see, you want them basically, you know, the same kind of size. I'm doing a little bigger so you can see. Looks like a bum. And then under here, you're going to do an oval, right? See how we're doing that? And that line's going pretty much down the middle. Then what I like to do is I will take it from the middle and I'll go over and just swoop it out like that. Do that over here. Swoop it out like that. Make this bottom. Swoop it up. Swoop it up. See how we're doing the lip? And then you can um, erase the middle. Again, making this a bit bigger for you guys to see. And you see, you have your lips. Now, I like just to put, you know, you just put your line going through it. So, you know, it's the opening or close of your lips. If you look at it and you're like, oh, you know what? I want these a little. That's when you sit and play. But you don't need to play. You're just, you're just learning. You know, maybe I'll bring this down a little bit more. See, and it just brings it a little bit more and then you kind of darken it up. So that's a great way to do it. Very, very simple, very easy. So on here, and then I'm just going to do the middle line and then I'm just going to go like this and close, you know, and then we have a mouth and then I can close this, erase it, maybe with a better eraser, Kelly. There we go, and then I'll just finish this up. Put the line in, and we got the lips, right? So right now, this is what we have. So let's think about the face. Now I don't want, I'm gonna put a little line here because that's where I kind of want my chin to kind of be. You can make it lower if you want, you can make it whatever you want. I'm gonna go here, and I'm just gonna go as close to the eye, you know, just a little bit, just like that. And I'm gonna take this, 
and I'm going to meet it to here. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here, but you can do it whatever way you want. You see what I'm saying? This is yours. And then just kind of round it out. And you know, basically that's where you're going to end. And then I just put a line here for the neck, right? And now the eyes. Now let's look at the eyes. Do you want to keep them that small? Do you want them a little bit bigger? Totally up to you. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to erase these lines. Okay, so we have our eye. Now what we're going to do is add <clears throat> our pupil. Now if you erase a little bit off, just, just kind of do your thing. I'm going to add a pupil in there. So I want to go in the middle. So I like just to put a little dot like that, basically in the middle. I'm not going to go, you know, balls to the wall about it, but I do have a circle template I like to use, but this is just a very thing. Just judge, put it in the middle where you want it. And I'm going to go like this and just go in the circle just so we get a little pupil there, right? Very simple. She looks stoned, whatever. So now I'm going to make her iris, like her, you know, the circle, the eyeball. And I'm going to go around. That's the, I'm going to color this in the color. And just do a circle. And let's do that over here. Now I can see this is a little off over here. I'm not going to worry about it right now. And now you have a face coming along, right? Now I'll, sh I'll show you something else when I'm done. So we do this. Now this is like, oh my God, I saw a ghost. So I take this corner and I put my pencil and I'm going to follow the top of that eye to the other corner. And what happens is I'm going to kind of, because we'll, we would color this. See how that changes the eye? Look how the difference is, right? So let's do the same thing over here. Corner, corner. And now you have, it's not so uh, so sleepy. Pupils are a little big. It does, don't worry about that right now. You'll make them smaller when you get into paint and you get the face itself down. And the face is just you getting these basics and then doing it, right? And now she'll have eye uh, lashes, I mean, uh, eyebrows. So I just kind of do a little like, you know. because it goes usually on the uh, bridge of the nose. And now, see how it's just coming together? We want the top of her head, but here's the thing. If we draw an egg shape, right? If we go, okay, here's my face, and I'm gonna put my eyes here, my nose, my mouth, right? This is our, our chin. Whatever way we're gonna do it, our eyebrows, we still have all this top of our head, which is basically our hair. So I don't always draw it up like that because you can, if it makes it easier for you to do it. I end up erasing it all the time because then if I go for hair, see how that becomes all the hair right there? The hair right there, right there, right? And that becomes her crazy hair. So you can do it whatever way you want. Now I can make this face wider and everything else, but what I'm going to do now and I, I usually always do the same kind of hair. I'm just going down on a side part, taking it down this over the eyebrow a little bit because that happens. And then just going to follow the face and the neck. I'm going to do the same thing over here very quickly. And then add that top part. And look how real quick she has some hair. Now, her face is a longer face. There are people out there with longer faces. Maybe you want her face to be a little wider. And this is, you know, this is like your own kind of face. You can do a completely round folk or girl face, which I have a million of them as well. But, and don't be upset if you accidentally erase something, just go back in. I'm gonna make her face where the chin's a little wider, like this, right? And then do her do her hair. But look, see how it changes her face a little bit? Because you're playing, I made the cheeks wider and all that kind of stuff. So you definitely can play and uh, get different, different ideas. 
and that's it. You want to add, uh, you know, uh, how you say shading and all, you know what I mean? You can go, you know, start the cheekbones, do all that. You want to do eyelashes, which are not my favorite thing to do only because my hands don't like to, to play nice, but you know, obviously you can just do some eyelashes, you know, whatever way you want to do it. You have this, you have this, and she's, you, you, you did a quick face. Is it the most beautiful, is this the most beautiful face you're ever going to see? No, I did it in like 11 minutes. Um, if I didn't, you know, go to show you all the other things, but it doesn't, you know, you got the basic of a face down now, like the bridge of the nose, for instance, starts at the tip of the sides of your nose and you could do both sides or one and just take it. And what it does is it goes up into your eyebrow and look how that changes the face a little bit. Right. Uh, I have, um, uh, you know, like a little, cause I'm, I got a little fatter face and I could put like my little chin in there. You want to make her smile, you know, just make her lips go up a little bit. See, she's smiling. You want to make her eyes a little bit bigger? Erase that bottom. There's nothing wrong with erasing, right? But you can make them as big or as wide as you want them. So you see the difference? You shouldn't have all that shading in there, Cal. But you can see the difference. So look, I know how hard it is to be disabled and draw. And I know sometimes my stuff comes out like crap, but guess what? I'm doing it and I want you guys to do it. And even if you're just a beginner, just try. It's not going to hurt anything. Like I said, this is a real quick sketch and I could sit here and uh, edit myself now and, you know, fix a few little things, but why? Why? Because I just had a blast doing her and now I have a face. So I hope this helps you guys. I really, really do. If you do faces, uh, let me know, tag me, email me, message me. I'm on the Facebook. All my information is down below that you could stalk me everywhere. And I hope this helped, uh, you know, some of you guys, because it's a lot of fun. It really doesn't take that much time, especially starting out because it's not going to look perfecto when you do it the first 10 times, but you'll see that you will improve. And all of you guys who have followed my way or added my way into maybe something you already learned or, you know, with something else, let me know down below. Uh, I know uh, Kathy Spires, you know, all of you guys, just just let everybody know down there how, you know, how you found it when you learned. And um, that's it. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Anything else you want me to, guys, you want me to do as far as the face goes, just ask. And I would be glad to do it. And I love you guys. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.